good morning students today we'll start our next chapter chapter number 4 that is strategy of industrial growth from 1947 to 1990 so first of all the first topic is importance of industry that uh, how much industries were important for uh, the economy or the growth of the economy so we'll start with the first point that is epicenter of economic growth epicenter means the focus point means uh, it is saying that industries were the focus point of economic growth uh, how it was happened as the gdp started rising after independence as the gdp started rising the share of uh, industrial sector or the secondary sector uh, started rising into gdp and this process is known as structural transformation structural transformation means the contribution of industrial sector in gdp is increasing that process is known as stru uh, structural transformation means whenever uh, any sector replaces the other or the previous sector the process is known as structural transformation means jab gdp mein contribute karte hain sectors to jab koi ek sector kisi dusre sector ko take over kar leta hai means uh, the contribution of a sector started rising over the other that process is known as structural transformation so during this period till 1990 the industrial sector the secondary sector started growing or its contribution to gdp has been rising over agriculture sector that's why we are saying that the structural transformation has been started during uh, 1947 to 1990 uh, how it how it had happened as the income uh, of the consumers rises they demand for industrial goods or you can say that they demand for the uh, capital goods or more qu uh, improved quality goods and these goods or variety of goods are being provided by the industrial sector because agriculture sector only provides the uh, goods which are necessary or necess uh, goods of necessity only for example the food grains that's why the variety of goods are being provided the uh, provided by the industrial sector and as the income of the consumer started rising over the years they demanding for uh, uh, the uh, variety of goods or the capital goods and these goods were widely provided by the industrial sector that's why the import importance of industrial sector was increasing in the economy the next is source of employment uh, apart from the uh, production the employment was also being generated by the industrial sector widely or increasingly as we uh, know that the fact Uh, as we know the fact that uh, 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 agriculture sector in pri or in primary sector disguised unemployment uh, exists means more than the required number of workers or laborers are engaged so disguised uh, unemployment as we have already discussed in uh, the previous chapters in the problems of agriculture sector the more number of uh, workers are engaged because no alternate employment opportunities were available previously पहले जो है कि ऑल्टरनेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल नहीं थी दैट्स वाई द वर्कर्स और द पीपल वर कंपेल्ड टू इंगेज दैम इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर और प्राइमरी सेक्टर फॉर देयर अर्निंग सो डिस्गाइज एन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एग्जिस्ट इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर मीन्स सरप्लस वर्कर्स और सरप्लस लेबरर्स आर इंगेज इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर वेन इंडस्ट्री स्टार्टेड ग्रोइंग दीज सरप्लस वर्क फोर्स द सरप्लस वर्क फोर्स were increasingly or beneficially engaged in industries because industries uh, were increasing so that the demand for workers or more and more and more laborers were uh, increased or has been risen that's why these surplus laborers were migrated from agriculture sector to industries that's why beneficial employment opportunities were provided by the uh, industrial sector in the economy the next point is source of mechanized means of farming mechanized means here means uh, machines as we know that in the wake of green revolution more and more machines or capital inputs were being used in farming so that farm output has been increased these machines were widely produced in industries or you can say the capital inputs which are which were being used in farming or farm uh, activities were being produced or are being produced in industries uh, by using these machines we know that the output or the farm output jo hai wo increase ho gaya tha by using machines uh, the farm activities were performed rapidly and widely as a result the output has been increased 
that's why more and more machines were being demanded by the farmers and these machines were produced in industries that's why the importance of industries were also increasing the next point is uh, it provides dynamism to the growth process what is dynamism dynamism means uh, uh, the change in the structure of demand and this demand was being changed by the variety of goods which were made available in the market by the industries means the factories or the industries or the companies were producing variety of goods and these goods were uh, supplied in the market and as the variety of goods were made available and uh, uh, as a fact that income of the consumers were also being uh, rising that's why the consumers started demanding for these variety of goods and this has introduced the dynamism the process of dynamism in uh, the economy as well as in the market the next point is growth of civilization uh, civilization here means the uh, improvement in or uh, increment in the quality of life of the people and it has been made possible with the help of a uh, variety of goods or you can say uh, the improvement in the quality of goods which were made uh, by the growth of industries so improved quality of goods were being made available in the market or consumers started consuming improved quality of goods and as a result their quality of life has been improved or increased this result into civilization apart from that industries uh, apart from this industries gave way to the growth of urbanization अर्बनाइजेशन मीन्स जो शहर थे वो इंक्रीज होने लगे थे सिटीज़ जो थी वो इंक्रीज होने लगी थी जिस वजह से जो मॉडर्न जो इनपुट्स थे या मॉडर्न सर्विसेज थी वर मेड वाइडली अवेलेबल एंड दिस वाज़ द साइन ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन दैट्स हाउ इंडस्ट्रीज और द ग्रोथ ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एम्बार्क द प्रोसेस ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन इन द इकोनमी द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल ग्रोथ infrastructure means the facilities or the services of power uh, means energy banking transportation insurance etc uh, started developing as these services are widely used uh, by the industries uh, so as the growth of industry started rising the uh, need or the demand for these services which are known as infrastructural services has also been risen widely that's why we can say that infrastructural facilities and industry has a direct relation so with the growth of industries infrastructural services were also increased the next point is industri uh, industrialization uh, sine qua non of growth sine qua non means uh, which is absolutely necessary so for growth industrialization was absolutely necessary this term means for growth industries were or industrialization was absolutely necessary because uh, growth depends on industries as uh, uh, it increases the gdp overall it provides employment in the economy it improves the quality of life of the people that's why most of the uh, developed nations are focusing in improvement of uh, their industries or were focusing in increasing their industrialization that's why we can say that industrialization is a sine qua non of growth the next uh, concept is the factors necessitate necessitating direct participation of the state in industrial development means government uh, what government interferes or directly interferes in the process of growth or development in the economy why so because government was of the opinion that uh, the private sector will not uh, focus on the development or growth of the economy rather they will uh, they will uh, do all the activities or perform all the activities for their profit maximization that's why the government don't want to leave the development of industries upon the private sector only so uh, the participation of state in the uh, or the government in the uh, economy was uh, because of lack of capital as we know that uh, the uh, commencement of the business needs a huge amount of investment and as the fact we are uh, considering the uh, the period of uh, from 1947 to 1990 so just after independence private sector uh, or no individual have enough amount of money to invest to start or commence a business that's why private sorry uh, public sector or the government has to initiate 
इंडिपेंडेंस जस्ट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस जो था किसी भी पब्लिक प्राइवेट सेक्टर या फिर इंडिविजुअल के पास इतना पैसा नहीं था कि वो बिजनेस स्टार्ट करने के लिए इन्वेस्ट कर सके एक्सेप्ट सम केसेस दीज वर टाटाज एंड बिरलास सो दैट्स वाई द गवर्नमेंट हैज़ टू इनिशिएट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रीज द सेकेंड पॉइंट इज लॉ इंड्यूसमेंट टू इन्वेस्टमेंट हेयर इंड्यूसमेंट मीन्स मोटिव मीन्स किसी भी काम को करने के लिए हमारा कुछ मोटिव होता है कोई ऑब्जेक्टिव होता है सो so, इंड्यूसमेंट नहीं था इन्वेस्ट करने के लिए प्राइवेट सेक्टर के पास कोई मोटिव नहीं था इन्वेस्ट करने के लिए वाई सो बिकॉज पीपल वर पुअर इन द इनिशियल स्टेजेस ऑफ आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस पीपल वर पुअर दे इनकम लेवल वॉज वेरी लो दैट्स वाई दे डिमांड पैटर्न और द डिमांड वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिमांड वॉज वेरी लो इफ द डिमांड इज लो दैट्स मीन प्रोडक्शन विल ऑल्सो बी लो प्रोडक्शन विल बी लो इन इन इंडस्ट्रीज इफ द प्रोडक्शन विल बी लो द प्रॉफिट्स विल ऑल्सो बी लो दैट्स वाई द प्राइवेट सेक्टर डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट बिकॉज उनके पास कोई मोटिव नहीं था क्योंकि प्रॉफिट्स कम रहेंगे क्योंकि प्रोडक्शन कम होगा प्रोडक्शन कम क्यों होगा क्योंकि जो डिमांड uh, है लोगों की वो कम होगी बिकॉज देर इनकम इज वेरी लो सो इन दिस पॉइंट वी कैन से दैट इफ डिमांड इज लो ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी less profits due to less production and if less profits will be there the producers do not want to invest in these sector that's why due to low inducement private sector did not want to invest the next point is growth with social justice so what is growth with social justice this, uh, the clear point which is uh, mentioning that government wants that uh, along with the growth process there should be jo- social justice social indiscrimination uh, government want to promote social indiscrimination government don't want to uh, discriminate the people socially either on their basis of uh, caste or somewhat else that's why uh, the government want to generate employment government want to uh, promote equitable distribution of resources uh, these were the main goals of the economic plans uh, during this period that's why government uh, was of the opinion that these goals or objectives could only be achieved with the participation of government because private sector would only invest to maximize their profits kyunki government jo hai sirf invest karegi apne profits ko maximize karne ke liye so jo objectives the government ke uh, generating employment equitable distribution of resources these objectives can could only be achieved with the participation of government because uh, a private sector profits ke liye kaam karta hai isliye in objectives ko overlook kar sakta tha ignore kar sakta tha isliye government ne jo hai direct participate kiya fir interfere kiya growth process mein the next term uh, here we are considering that is the commanding heights which is very important commanding height means the industries or those industries were called the commanding heights which were strat- uh, which were strategically important for the growth process jinka importance growth ke liye bahut zyada zaruri tha ya fir jinki uh, uh, कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ग्रोथ में बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी थी उनको हमने स्ट्रेटेजिक सिग्निफिकेंस की इंडस्ट्रीज या फिर इंडस्ट्रीज ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक सिग्निफिकेंस और कमांडिंग हाइट्स वी हैव कॉल्ड दीज इंडस्ट्रीज एंड दीज इंडस्ट्रीज वर मेनली ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कम्युनिकेशन एंड डिफेंस एंड गवर्नमेंट वॉन्टेड टू कंट्रोल दीज इंडस्ट्रीज एज दीज इंडस्ट्रीज वर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ग्रोथ दैट्स वॉर द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल दीज इंडस्ट्रीज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दीज इंडस्ट्रीज वर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द ग्रोथ एंड सोशल जस्टिस दैट्स वर द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट टू control these industries so here is a point control of commanding heights why the government why did the government uh, con- control these commanding heights because these were these industries were fundamental for the growth process for social uh, justice and growth that's why the government wanted to control these industries